Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual science classroom. This is your teacher, da- teacher Daryl Del Mundo, and now we are in the quarter three, week number five, and it's been a long way. And before we formally start our discussion for this day, let us have a short prayer. Thank you very much for that prayer. And Secretary, do not forget to check the attendance. Get the number of boys and the number of girls for this synchronous plan, okay? And then do not forget to send to me in our GC the total number of the attendance. So for our quarter three week number five, we are going to talk about light. So all of about light, especially what you are seeing right now in front of you, is all about this topic. Basically, we are going to deal with colors of light, colors of light. So, bakulay yung pag-aaral natin ngayon. Kung baga, kung kayo ngayon ay hindi niyo pa nakikita ng masyadong bakulay ang buhay niyo, right at this moment, you will know that light is beautiful, that light is colorful. It's because of light. So, basically, this supplementary learning materials will help you to learn. Lesson number one, light me up. And for lesson number two, colors and speed of light. So let's just have a short recap on looking back, especially when you were in grade school or in elementary or red tackle with this one. So direction, study the following diagram, then decide whether the source of light is natural or man-made. So you can say it is natural or sometimes it is called, uh, the man-made is called artificial. So, you just identify whether the following example or the following examples that we have here is a man-made or artificial and natural source of light. So, for number one, this is the picture. We have sun. For number two, we have flashlight. And for number three, we have candlelight. So, let's have an example. Number two. So, number two flashlight is an example of man-made or artificial source of light. Okay? So don't forget to answer this one. And now, for lesson number one, we are going to talk about light heat up. As a brief introduction, it all started with Sir Isaac Newton when he believed that light behaves like a particle, while Christian Huygens believed that the light behaves like a wave. So remember the wave that we have discussed last time? Okay, it is related to this one. We discussed the two different types of waves, right? So we have mechanical waves, which is an example of sound waves. And right now, we are going to talk about another, another type of wave. So a third scientist, Max Planck, came up with what is now known as the dual nature of light. So he explained that the light can be particle and can also be a wave. So to complete our knowledge about the nature of life, James Clark Maxwell proposed the electromagnetic theory of light. That's why we have electromagnetic wave today. Okay? So in light, we are going to deal with another type of wave, which is the electromagnetic wave. So this is the first Newton theories of light. Okay, so as you continue... While these scientists dig deep into the natures of light and how light are propagated, let us be more familiar with the ordinary materials we use as common sources of light. So the sun, for example, is known as the natural source of light. It gives light to the entire world. Okay, so that is the main source of our energy, the sun. And at the same time, sun is also considered as a luminous body, an object, capable for producing its own light. Other sources are the lamps, bulbs, and candles. These are the artificial or man-made sources. So ito yung mga ginawa lang ng tao. Diba? Pag sinabi natin natural, it exists naturally. It can be seen in the environment. Okay, another example aside from sun are... Hmm, can you give me some examples? Okay, so we have fireflies. Okay, fireflies are natural source of light and also the moon we can consider the moon because the moon that was the sunlight 
Okay. And we have here the bulb. And we have here a wick in an oil. And then sun. Then we have the lamp. Then we have a lighter. And then we have bonfire. So those are the different examples of natural and artificial sources of light. Okay, so for lesson number two, we are going to deal about colors and speed of light. So colors, it makes our life happier. Because if you see a lot of colors, you will be amazed, right? So for example, marami kang nakikita niya uh, color when you go outside, when you travel, it, it will amaze you, right? And... Uh, also, we are going to talk about the different speed of light. So, katulad ng sound, meron ding speed ang light. Okay? Katulad ng kinumpit natin sa motion. Remember, we computed the speed. Okay? Ganun din sa sound wave, we computed the speed of the sound. Okay? So, let us uh, dwell in light now. So, light dispersion. The spreading out of the beam of light called dispersion or chromatic dispersion. This can be seen when light or white light passes through a medium glass called prism. So, importante ang prism. For example, the rainbow. Okay, later, I will discuss the rainbow. So, this is the white light or the visible light. Yung ilaw, yung ilaw na galing sa araw. Yung ilaw na galing sa flashlight, okay, those are the white light or the sunlight. Okay, when it passes through a prism, this one, is made up of glass, then it will undergo chromatic dispersion or light dispersion. Pag sinabi natin light dispersion or chromatic dispersion, class, ibig sabihin naghiwa-hiwala yung ilaw, yung from white light, it uh, spreads into different colors. So, it disperses. As you can see, from white light, it dispersed into seven different colors. Okay? So, for example, the rainbow. So, we have here the scenario. It rains. And then, the sun shines again. And then, the rainbow comes in. So, in the rainbow, the water droplets becomes the prism and when the sunlight passes through it, the light disperses into seven different and beautiful colors known as the Roy G. Beef or the rainbow itself. Roy G. Beef are the different colors that can be seen. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So those are the seven beautiful colors that appeared in the rainbow. So what does it mean? Different colors mean different wavelengths. Remember yung wavelength na pinag-aralan natin sa different parts of a wave? Ito yung isang wave and ito yung isang wave. The distance between the two waves is the wavelength. Kung gaano kalayo yung dalawang waves sa isa't isa. And it carries or that carries energy and it has speed as well. Maliwanag? So meaning to say, yung different wavelength na yun, meron din siyang different energy. Okay, and speed at the same time. And because of that, it has also different frequency. Ibig sabihin, ilang wave yung nakikita mo in a second? How many waves appear in a second? Okay, so let us look and answer the table below so that we will be familiar when it comes to the speed of light. So the colors and speed of light that basically at this point Unahin muna natin yung characteristics of light based on its color spectrum, which are the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Okay, so for you to be able to accomplish this table, all you have to do is to get the speed of different color spectrum. Okay, so frequency multiplied by the wavelength and then use the unit meters per second. So this is the frequency for red and this is the wavelength for red so all we have to do is to multiply it so we have 422 times 700 then we will get 295,400 meters per second and so on okay 
ganun din yung gagawin niyo sa ibang examples. You will do the same. Okay. Multiply this one to this one. Multiply this one to this one. And so on. And addition to that, class, so that you will be having a clue if you are right or wrong. So light travels at almost 300 million or billion rather at 300 billion meters per second to be exact. 299,792,458 meters per second in a vacuum. Beginning to say, pag sinabi natin vacuum sa outer space ito. Okay? Ganun siya kabilis. 300 million meters per second. So, titignan lang siya, titignan. If it is near 300 million, it, it means that you are correct. So, 295,400, 295,400, it's near here. So, your answer is correct. Okay? And here are some uh, examples in electromagnetic spectrum. Ito na yung sinasabi natin, colors of light. The electromagnetic spectrum, the Roy GP, or the different colors that appear in the rainbow, this is what its scientific term, electromagnetic spectrum. So as you can see, we have here from red, orange, yellow, green, then blue, indigo, to violet, and so on. So it has different parts. We have radio waves, okay, and we have microwaves. Infrared, ultraviolet, X-ray, then gamma rays. And then this is what their waves look like. So in radio waves, as you can see, the wavelength is very distant from one another. Ibig sabihin, malaki yung kanilang wavelength, yung distance ng kanilang wavelength. But as we go on to, sorry, as we go on to this part, the wavelength becomes thinner or narrower. Okay, can you see that? And not only that, and the frequency becomes higher. Ibig sabihin, dumadami yung wave in a second. Dito, konti lang in a second. And then, as we go far to color violet, the wave, the number of wave in a second becomes a lot or many. Meaning to say, it also affects its energy. So kung nakikita nyo, nababago yung kanyang wavelength, nababago yung kanyang frequency, at nababago rin yung kanyang energy. So para siyang may domino effect. Kapag nabago ang wavelength, nabago ang kanyang frequency, nababago rin yung kanyang daladalang energy. Okay? Ito yung mga example natin. May mga radio waves tayo dito, telephone, television, yeah, we have the visible light from sunlight and from light bulb. Meron tayong ultraviolet, di ba? From the sun, tsaka yung tanning. Yung pagpapatan ng kulay. Kung napanood, may napanood ka yung movie na natin, lalagay sila sa isang rectangular box na may violet na ilaw. That is the old ultraviolet. It has ultraviolet rays para maging tan yung kulay natin. Then we have X-ray. Okay, and then we have gamma rays. Ito na yung mga outer space. Or uh, sabihin na natin na mga particles ng radiation. Okay, take note of this class. The wider the wavelength, the lesser the frequency. Okay, and the energy. The wider the wavelength, the lesser the frequency and energy. Saan yun? Dito. Sa part na to. Ibig sabihin, wider yung kanilang wavelength, it means it has lesser frequency and it has lesser energy. On the other hand, the narrower the wavelength, the greater the frequency and energy. So, this is the part that we are talking to, how we are pertaining to. So, meaning to say, the wavelength becomes narrower and then we conclude that it has greater frequency and greater energy. Okay? Again, wavelength in red is wider while the wavelength in violet is narrower. Ibig sabihin ito, class, that red has lesser energy than violet. Ibig sabihin, red has lesser energy and violet has greater energy. Okay? 
So electromagnetic materials, these are some examples of it. So we have in radio, used to broadcast radio and television. We have microwaves used in cooking, radar, telephone, and other signals. We have infrared transmit heat from sun, fires, and radiators. Ito yung usually na niinit yung mga kape natin, di ba? Yung mga cellphone natin. Yung pinag-iinitan natin ng mga kape o ng uh, tawag dito ng mga ulam sa microwave. Okay. Kaya tayo nakaka-receive ng mga messages because of that. Visible light, it makes things able to be seen. So bakit tayo nakakita sa ibang kulay na bagay is because of the visible light. And then we have ultraviolet absorbed by the skin used in fluorescent tubes. We have also x-ray or x-rays used to view inside the inside of, of our bodies and objects. Actually, hindi na siya tinatawag na x-rays but raw and gen rays kasi it was discovered by raw and gen. Tinawag na siyang x-ray kasi hindi pa alam before yung tawag sa ray na yun. Kaya x-ray, yung siya hindi nila alam. But now, it was named after raw and gen. And then last, we have gamma rays used in medicine for healing cancer cells. Ito na yung radiotherapy. Naritinig nyo ba yun? Yun. So, at yung different types of electromagnetic materials that I know you are aware of. May iba sa inyo familiar na dito. And now, you know that it's like... <laughs> And then, the questions that we always ask maybe ourselves, why do objects have colors? Di ba, bakit nga ba may iba't ibang kulay tayong nakikita? It's because of the properties of light. It has reflection property, it has absorption property, and then transmission property. How come? Let's take a look at this. Black body and white body, it's all about absorption and reflection. If we see a black body, it means all the colors are absorbed. Okay, so yung pitong color na yun ng electromagnetic spectrum are absorbed in that body. That's why it appears color black. Okay, but if all the colors in the electromagnetic spectrum reflected, okay, the body appeared as colored white. Okay, so kapag inabsorb lahat ng color, liwanag, ng isang object, the, the object is color black. But if the object reflects all the color from the electromagnetic spectrum, it appears as white. Nakaintindihan? So, as I said a while ago, when all light waves absorb in an object, the color appearance is black. While when an object is white, all light wave is reflected. Okay? So do not forget about that. All the light waves are absorbed. All the light waves are reflected. And now, why do objects have colors again? Okay, let's look at these examples. So, humans can distinguish from 1 million to 10 million various colors. We see green leaves here in this example. So, the white light coming in, but the only reflected color is the green light. That's why the leaf or the leaves that we see every day appeared as green color, okay? And then, for example, this ladybug or this red beetle, it appeared as color red because the red light reflected, okay? Other light absorbed, but the only light reflected is red. That's why it appeared as color red. So, kung ano yung nag-reflect na kulay ka, yun yung kanyang color That's the color of the object. So, pag nakakita ka ng color blue, okay, color blue na notebook, all are absorbed except for the color blue. It reflected. So, what you see is color blue notebook. Maliwanag. And now, another thing. You can try this at home by using flashlight and colored cellophane. Yung mga pinagbabalot ng yama. The one that we use uh, for making pastillas, uh, the covering. Okay. The uh, other one is by mixing and combining paints or your ink. The things that we have. Oh, meron kayo sigurong mga 
coloring materials, meron kayong watercolors, you can try this at home using your ball pens, pwede rin yan. So we have additive and then subtractive. In additive, it is the combination or combining light. Kapag meron tayong green light and then we have red light, we have blue light, and when you mix those colored light, you will see the white light. Okay, so in between of green and red, you will see yellow. In between green and blue, you will see cyan. And in between red and blue, you will see magenta. Okay, why on the other hand, subtractive, it is the mixing of paints or ink. So this time is different. Kung ang kanilang combination of the tricolor here in additive, you will see white light using your paint or ink or color, water, watercolor you will see black. Okay, you can try this at home. Okay? So, those are the combination of the tricolors in subtractive. Additive, the combinations are, is white. The combinations of the tricolor is white. While in the subtractive, the combinations of the tricolor is black. And things to remember in learning about the light and its waves. White light is made up of many different colors of varying wavelength and frequencies. When white light enters a prism and travels slower than in a vacuum, color separation is observed due to the variation in the frequencies and wavelength of colors of light. Number two, intensity of light is proportional to energy of light, like what we have tackled a while ago, which is proportional also to the frequency of light. The higher the frequency of the color, the higher is its intensity does have higher energy. Pag maraming frequency, mas malakas ang energy. Mas konti ang frequency, mas lesser ang energy. Okay? Number three, the visible light colors, red has the longest wavelength. Kaya always remember this. Red has the, wa- the longest wavelength. Kaya nyo siya unang nakikita sa rainbow. Siya yung nasa pinakataas, right? Siya yung may pinakamataas o pinakamalawak na wavelength. Kaya red has the longest wavelength. Okay? And the shortest wavelength ha- is the color violet kasi nasa baba siya. Maliit na yung kanyang wave. Okay? Do not uh, forget that. So again, red has the longest wavelength and lowest frequency. While violet has the shortest wavelength, and the highest frequency. Therefore, violet has greater energy than red. Remember, mas maraming frequency. Okay, mas mataas ang frequency. Mas mataas ang energy. At mas lesser ang frequency. Mas lesser than energy. Okay, don't you forget that. And next, the speed of all colors of light is constant and is equal to the speed of all other electromagnetic waves. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, your answers are nearly connected and nearly, uh, what we call this, answered to one another. Kung baga, malalaki yung, uh, hindi malalaki, maliliit lang yung kanilang distance dun sa sagot nyo. Okay? Maliliit yung pagitan ng mga answers ninyo which includes the visible light. And number five, objects appear in different colors because they absorb light waves of specific wavelength while reflecting or transmitting other colors. The color of the object we see are the wavelengths that are reflected or transmitted to our eyes. So a red apple appears red because it reflects the red color light like this one. Okay? So... Let's have the color humor or the application of light. Are you familiar with this one? What is this? This is a traffic light. Very good. So we have red color, orange color, and then we have green color. Red means to stop. Then orange means to slow down. And then green means to go. Okay. Now, have you ever wondered why red light or oh, have you ever wonder why is red light at the top and used at the color, which means to stop cars and other vehicles? So, di ba? Pag nakita tayo ng red, automatic, stop tayo. Okay? 
why? Ano sa tingin niyo yung reason? Bakit siya yung nasa pinakataan? And it needs to stop. What is the reason behind? Hindi lang porque sinabi ng teacher mo or ng nanay mo, ng parents mo, na kapag read, kailangan mo kumigil. It has a scientific explanation. And this is the answer. So at first, railroad companies use red means or to mean stop. White to mean go and green to mean caution. So ang unang gumamit ng red light uh, for stopping the train on a railroad are the railroad companies or sabi na natin yung mga nasa trend. Okay, red is the color with the longest wavelength, so it can be seen from a greater distance than other colors. Kaya red ang pina kataas at ibig sabihin is to stop. Is even you are afar, you will easily recognize the red color. Kaya nga diba, mas madali mong makita yung kulay pula because it has the longest wavelength. It means that even you are far away, from the traffic light, you know that you need to stop. Okay? Maaga pa lang mabigyan ka lang ng warning na you need to stop because red can easily be seen even when you are apart because it has the longest wavelength. And that's the reason behind we use that in our traffic light. And do not forget to answer the following. Okay? All you have to do is to review, rewatch, and uh, as much as possible, take down notes, all the important details, and then answer your activities in your modules that is created in our Google Classroom. For lesson number one, answer pages three for free test, four to six as well. For lesson number two, answer pages six and seven for post test. So if you have any clarifications, any suggestions or any uh, you need to uh, ask something class do not forget and don't uh, be shy don't be hesitant to ask me in my different social media accounts uh, you can contact me in my youtube channel you can comment there and then some of your classmates message me in my instagram account because some of their messenger is not working so, you can also message me in my Instagram account and then my Facebook page, teacher that and to our GC, so that all of you will be included if you have any questions, clarifications, okay, mabigyan natin ng pansin yun. And then, I hope you learned something about life today, and let's be excited for the next discussion video, okay? All you have to do is to sit back, relax, and enjoy your learning. This is your teacher that signing off. See you next week. God bless you and goodbye.